Hi, my name is Lisa Frank 666 and I am a local drag artist here in the Denver, Colorado scene and I'm also the mother of a drag family here known as the House of 666. Um, the House of 666 is a all black and brown alternative family um, and just emphasis on being alternative, queer culture, um, radical self-expression. I originally got into drag um, because I lived in Little Rock, Arkansas and I used to go to the House of Avalon parties. Which the House of Avalon was a select group of individuals um, that did drag and threw promotional parties there. And I would go and club kid looks, always very bizarre and over the top. Um, and my drag parent actually found me there and um, said that they would love to teach me how to fuse club kid looks with drag. And I was super excited because I have always been inspired by punk culture and alternative culture. And so I wanted to see how the fusion of just bold outlandish looks with drag elements would play out. I would actually not identify as alternative, I identify as a prep. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I definitely identify as an alternative drag artist. I mean, I take pride in being alternative. I love subculture and um, the grittiness of um, the struggle of marginalized communities and I yeah, definitely take pride in calling myself alternative. Some of my main inspirations that make me continue drag would be trans people, black people, brown people, and marginalized community, and artists. I just really feel it's important to show representation as a black or brown person um, in alternative culture, because alternative culture can be very dominated by white people and white cis culture. Um, but I think it's important in alternative culture that you, you dominate and you reclaim and you take back and you claim it with fierceness. Hi, I'm uh, Dustin Schlong, local drag king from Denver, Colorado. In drag, there is no rules about what you're doing. It doesn't matter what gender you're representing. It doesn't matter what song you're doing. As long as you're going out there and representing you and giving it your all and living your life, that's all that matters. You don't need to be a cis male in a wig and heels and nails and lashes. Like That is not what drag is about. And too many people are completely clouded by that concept. I think it's important to note that trans, or drag came from trans expression um, and I think it can be commonly overlooked that this is a trans art form but also a queer art form um, and that drag has always been from the beginning alternative, punk rock, against the grain and non-conformist. So, don't forget about those things and break the rules. Well, it's been so nice to have you here at MTV Crips, but now you gotta get a little out.